When I was playing baseball, one of my biggest challenges was understanding that there was more to life than just baseball. I was a college athlete pursuing big league dreams. I wanted to play professionally, and not only that, I wanted to reach the highest level I could possibly play. And so everything in my life had to be dedicated towards getting to that goal. I had to eat, drink, sleep, and breathe baseball. Anything outside of the game would only take away from my on-field performance. And that's exactly the mindset that I had for just about all of my career. It wasn't until my senior year where I really shifted my perspective and saw that things outside of the game actually helped me in the game. And what I mean by that was for so long, because I was a baseball player, I identified myself only as a baseball player. Baseball is what I did and it was also who I was. I began to struggle on the field and that struggle and that frustration leaked into other parts of my life because I was identifying myself only as a baseball player. And when I did that, when I failed on the field, I failed in every other aspect of my life because I was only one thing and that was a baseball player. So if I wasn't a good baseball player, then there was no way I could be a good person. And so that took a toll on me and it really kind of climaxed in my junior year where by the end of the season I was done and I was fried. So that summer I really worked on resetting myself, kind of getting back to why I enjoyed playing the game in the first place. And one of the ways that I got there and one of my big focuses in my senior year was allowing myself to enjoy all of the other things that I was doing in my life. I really enjoyed what I was doing in school. I, I liked what I was studying. I studied journalism and digital media, and that was a lot of fun. It was that creative outlet for me. But again, previously and up until really my senior year, I never gave myself the opportunity to pursue those things or enjoy them as much. And I had a lot of great opportunities off the field as well in those avenues, in those fields. I wrote for the Palm Beach Post. I got academic awards. I, I presented posters that statewide conferences and, and got awards from those too. And I'm not saying these things to brag, but I'm saying these things because I was accomplishing things off the field, but because I identified myself only as a baseball player, they didn't matter as much to me. I was proud of them, but they still didn't mean as much as on-field accomplishments. And like I've said, when I failed on the field, I failed in real life and it hurt. The way that I shifted my focus was I saw that baseball was something that I did. It wasn't entirely who I was. And I, I paint the picture like this. I like to, to bring about this analogy of our lives are like quilts. And when you identify yourself solely with what you do, you only allow yourself to experience one square of the quilt. And not only does that not keep you warm, but it's not pretty to look at. No one wants to look at one square of the quilt. We want to see a big, beautiful quilt made up of a bunch of different squares. And that's what our life really is made up of if we allow ourselves to go there. Once I opened my mind to all the different squares in my life, it removed so much pressure for me on the baseball field. I could go 0 for 4 or 4 for 4, and I knew that there was more to my day and more to life than just that moment and just that game. Once I walked off the field and passed those gates, baseball for that day was over for me. And that also allowed me to reset and recharge my batteries. I could enjoy the other aspects of my life. I could enjoy the time with my friends. I can enjoy the time with my family when I would go home and see them. I can enjoy doing the creative work, my schoolwork. I can enjoy all the other things without being so consumed by baseball. And then when it was time to go out and play baseball again the next day, I was recharged, re-energized, and excited to be out there. There were times in my career before that where I didn't enjoy going out the next day. I dreaded the next day because it was going to be more of the same. When I started seeing my life as this big beautiful quilt, it excited me because I knew that baseball was something that I did. It wasn't entirely who I am. And I think that's a trap that a lot of us fall into, whether you're an athlete or not. We, we get so consumed with our day-to-day -day activity, whether it's our job, our family, our habits, whatever it may be, that we kind of put our blinders on to everything else in the world. And I think it's so important to take time and acknowledge what's going on in your life and open your mind and allow yourself. I say allow purposefully, but allow yourself to experience and enjoy all the other squares in your quilt. And I promise you, you've got a big quilt and you've got a beautiful quilt and it's time for you to enjoy it. Okay.